All right, so you wanna sell on Mercari, but you're not exactly sure how to go about it, what the best practices are, or how to get really good sales. I'm gonna show you today how I made about $2,200 over the last year with honestly very little effort. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna to talk to you about are kind of the pros and cons of selling on Mercari. This will kind of help you really quickly see whether Mercari might work for you or not. So the pros are that it's really easy to list on Mercari. Honestly, it takes me maybe a minute to list an item on Mercari once I have um, pictures already taken. The next pro is that the fees are pretty low. It's 10% across the board, doesn't matter what you sell, how much you sell it for, it's 10%, that's how much Mercari is keeping, and that is pretty low compared to other websites and apps. In my opinion, shipping is super easy on Mercari. Um, you still have plenty of options. You can do your own shipping, you can do shipping through Mercari, you can pay for shipping and have the buyer get free shipping, which is usually um, kind of something that boosts your sales, or you can have the buyer pay for shipping. So there are a lot of options, but they're so easy to kind of navigate. Another thing is that you can pretty much do everything from your phone. You can list items on your phone. You can, if you can print from your phone, you can probably do 100% of your Mercari business or your Mercari reselling on your phone. So that is a huge advantage. Poshmark is similar. You can do almost everything from your phone, but I say this as an advantage because websites like eBay are still pretty clunky and old school and you can't do everything from your phone. It's hard and I hate the eBay app. Sorry for the random eBay rant in there, but they need to up their game after all these other apps have been coming out that are really easy to work with. Okay, some cons for selling on Mercari. Basically, if you're a reseller like me, who's a full-time reseller, I have 700 items, no, closer to 800 items in my inventory, and I don't list them all on Mercari, not even close, because it's hard to kind of organize and manage that many items on Mercari, so it's not great for full-time selling. Um, you probably could do it, but it's just a lot harder to keep things organized. One thing that people have told me is that they have trouble selling things for higher prices on Mercari because everybody on Mercari is looking for a good deal. And while I do agree everybody's looking for a good deal on Mercari, it's kind of a place for people to deal shop. Um, I don't have a problem with getting good prices for items on Mercari. I generally send, sell things for, I wanna say $20 and up, and that's not too bad. If you're looking for immediate payment on Mercari, you're not gonna get it. So another con is that you have to wait for payment. You have to wait for the item to be delivered to your buyer and then you have to wait for them to either leave a rating or for three days to pass after it's been delivered and Mercari will automatically give you a rating. So you do have to wait to get your, your money. It usually takes from the time you sell the item to the time you get access to the funds. It's usually gonna be about a week. And another huge con for me is that there's no bundling feature on eBay and on Poshmark, which are other my two other main platforms. You can easily buy several items from one seller and on Mercari you can't. Really the only way to do that are either for the buyer to buy everything individually or to contact you and you have to create a special listing for them to bundle all of those items together. So hopefully Mercari kind of fixes that soon and creates some sort of bundling feature. All right, so the Mercari rating system is pretty easy and I love it because you basically get a rating for every single transaction you do. Unlike on eBay where um, if a buyer doesn't leave feedback, then you just don't get feedback for that transaction. So the way the Mercari rating system works is that there are, you can do, it's a five-star rating system and they leave you feedback within those three days after delivery or Mercari just goes ahead and leaves you a five-star feedback if they never do it. So, or a five-star rating, that's what they call them on Mercari. So it's a pretty good system because you automatically get five stars if they don't leave a rating and it really helps your potential buyers see that you've done a lot of transactions. Mercari also has these things called badges and there are four different badges. One of them says how long you've been on Mercari. So it says member since, I think mine's 2016. Um, the other one is fast shipper, no, quick shipper. And that means you usually ship within 24 hours, which is a great badge to have because people want their stuff fast. The other one says if you're reliable, which means items are delivered as um, described and also um, you're not canceling items. The last one is fast responder, which basically means that you're responding to messages within an average of 12 hours. So you want to get as many of those badges as possible. Those shows in your, those show in your profile and that will kind of give your buyer um, confidence to shop with you. So like I kind of touched on before, getting it paid on Mercari does take a little bit of time. Basically a buyer will buy an item, you will ship it. Once that item is delivered, the buyer has three days to leave you a rating. Once they leave your rating, you a rating, your funds get released into your Mercari, I guess kind of like your Mercari bank account, um, where you can request a direct deposit after that. 
Um, if they don't leave a rating within three days, then Mercari automatically will give you your rating and also release your funds. So it can take some time to access that money. If you want money right now, then Mercari might not be the best place for you to sell. Shipping on Mercari is great. You do have a lot of options, but they're also really simple options if you want them to be. Um, you can either pay for shipping yourself or you can have the buyer pay for shipping. If you pay for shipping yourself, you have two options. You can either do a Mercari label or you can say, I'm gonna basically do everything on my own and all they do is provide you with the address of the customer. I personally just use the Mercari labels because it makes it so much easier to streamline and get things done quickly and that's important in my business. Basically you just pick a weight class based on how much your item weighs and then you pick if you want UPS, FedEx or um, US, UPS pack and ship and then a label will print out when that item sells or it won't print out but it'll provide you with a label to print out once that item sells. Um, I actually have a video that goes over all the different shipping options and exactly how to list on Mercari. It's more of like a detailed screen recording video. If you want, you can click the link down below. If you want kind of a detailed description on exactly how to list and exactly how each, how to choose your shipping options. All right, so what do you need to sell on Mercari? Um, I highly recommend a postage scale. It helps you weigh things so you know which postage or which shipping option to select. Um, they are under $20. The one I use I think is $16 or $17. I've had it since 2016. So I've had it, I think 2016, 2016 or 2017. I've had it for two or three years. And the thing that I love about it is that it operates on batteries or by plugging it in. So I usually have it plugged in, but if I need to move it somewhere like away from a wall so that I can weigh a large box or something, I can just unplug it and it'll start working off of batteries. So I really love that. Um, I'm not constantly having to change batteries because there's the option of plugging it in, but also I have the option of using batteries if I need to, for some reason, unplug it. So um, I will link down below all the products that I use that I'm gonna mention. So the postage scale is number one. Number two is a printer because I print all of my labels. Um, we use a Dymo label printer, but you can also just use a regular inkjet printer. I'll link to both down below, the ones that I use. Um, you also need something to mail your items in. If you're going to be mailing priority mail items um, through USPS, you can get free shipping supplies. My favorite boxes I will link down below is a shoe box and then a kind of a regular square box. And then also poly mailers. I'm going to link down below um, the new poly mailers I'm going to start using. I'm trying to be a little bit better with the environment and not use as much plastic. These poly mailers, the reason poly mailers are great is because they're really lightweight and they're kind of durable. They're not gonna like rip if a box corner like jabs into the side of it. Um, but these ones are recycled and recyclable. So that makes me feel a little bit better about it. So um, there's just my little encouragement for you guys to try and be a little bit better with the environment and make choices that are gonna be a little bit less wasteful. So that's my that's my next step in trying to be a little bit less wasteful. I'm continually trying to be friendly towards the environment and use less plastic, less waste. So I'm a tangent, sorry, but poly mailers or boxes, um, I will link all the ones that I use down below. All right, what can you sell on Mercari? You can sell pretty much anything on Mercari. Um, it's, there are some obvious things that you can't sell on Mercari, like drugs or weapons. You also can't sell stuff like mystery boxes on Mercari. You need, the buyer needs to know exactly what they're purchasing when they buy something. So you can't say, cause I know a lot of us resellers occasionally will do a mystery box or a reseller box where you don't know the exact contents. You cannot sell those on Mercari. You have to tell the buyer exactly what is in each, um, what is in each listing that you're listing. All right, so how to sell items on Mercari. There are two key ways to get sales on Mercari, and that is photos and searchable titles and descriptions. So photos, um, make sure you take really good pictures. Pictures are like the main thing on Mercari. If you scroll through the app, you will see that every item is basically a picture, a price, and then if there's free shipping. Um, the titles aren't showing, nothing else shows except for those three things. So make sure your pictures are clear, clean, crisp, it's really important. You don't have to have professional pictures, but have clear pictures. So my tips for that are having a clear background, whether you use the hardwood floor um, in your house, or if you use, you can use like a white um, poster board, or what I do personally for clothing is I just have a command hook on a white painted wall, and I just hang my items on there, and it makes it really quick, and it makes the backgrounds look really crisp and clean. That's how I take my photos. Um, another thing is make sure you use all the photos that you can. Mercari gives you eight spaces for photos, so make sure you use all of them if you can. Um, some ideas are front, back, 
every single tag, like brand tag, size tag, fabric content tag, care tag. I used to, I like to show all of the different tags so that the buyer knows exactly what they're getting. And also they're not gonna message me and ask me um, what is the fabric content of this item. And if they do, I can just look at the pictures and I don't have to go and find the item to answer that question. I can just quickly go to the pictures and let them know. So it's really important to show all the pictures that you can, not just because it makes it easier for you, also because the buyer wants to see the item and if the more pictures you show, the more clear the condition and the type of item it is for the buyer. So use as many pictures as you can. The other thing I wanna mention is titles, keywords, descriptions, make sure you use really good keywords. So in your title, make sure you think about how the buyer is going to be searching for that item. I like to mention brand, style, type, is it a dress, is it a shirt, is it shoes, loafers, boots, winter, all those kinds of keywords, use those in the title, use those in the description. It's really important because a lot of people aren't gonna go through the categories, they're gonna just search. They're gonna search Ugg boots, size five, or whatever, or free people, dress, blue. So make sure you use keywords like that so that people can find your item. Now I just wanna give you some tips for selling on Mercari. Um, make sure you fill out your profile, add a picture of yourself if you don't wanna show your face, you don't, maybe wear some sunglasses or a hat or something if you're kind of scared of putting your face out there on the internet, but people wanna see who they're purchasing from. Um, they wanna put a face to a name, make sure you fill out your bio. I'll show you an example of what my bio looks like right here. So basically just fill it out as best as you can um, tell people a little bit about yourself, a little bit about what you're selling, where you get it, um, stuff like that. So that kind of gives people the confidence to shop with you. Also keep in mind your ratings and your badges also show in your profile. So the more badges you can get, the better because that gives your buyer confidence to, to shop with you. One thing to note is when to upload. Try to upload when you think that people are shopping. 2 a.m., probably not a lot of people shopping. Um, most people aren't shopping in the middle of the day during the week either because a lot of people work that normal nine to five. So I really try to list more at night, usually between seven and 11 p.m. I try to closer to seven, but a lot of times I don't get to working until 10 or 11 after I put the kids to bed and I kind of clean up the house. So um, do what you can to list at appropriate times. I mean, this isn't super important. People are still going to find your items. If your item is popping up as a new item, um, there's gonna be more chances to get in front of the people that are gonna be buying your item. Keep in mind to price competitively, I do um, boost my prices a little bit because I know people like to make offers, but don't go crazy with your prices. Sometimes I just see your astronomical price and I just don't even consider that item. So I like to price on the high end of competitive. I think that works for me. So that way it leaves a little bit of room for offers so that my buyers feel like they're getting a good deal. I'm getting a decent price for what I want and I'm also providing them with a good deal. Also consider offers, you're gonna get tons of offers. You don't have to take them. Um, I like to always counter, I don't decline offers. I always counter offers, even if I'm only countering like a dollar below my listing price. That way my buyer knows that I'm interested in selling this item to them. I'm not just shutting the door in their face by declining the offer. So consider offers, you're going to get them. Don't get offended if you get them. It's gonna happen, that's just how Mercari works. Also utilize that promote button. I love the promote button. I will sometimes just sit on the couch watching TV at night and um, promote my items. So when you click that promote button, you will get two options, either a public sale, which means that you basically are lowering the price of that item and it shows on your listing that you've recently lowered it, or a private sale, which basically um, offers a, price, a lower price to the people that have liked your item. And I usually do private sales. I get a lot of sales that way. I'm basically just offering the people that have liked the item a, a little deal on that item and I get I do get a lot of sales that way. So I really recommend the promote, the promote button and this especially works well if, like I said, you pad your item's price a tiny bit so that you have room for those offers. And then my last tip, which is my bonus tip, which is something that I like to do, like I said, at night when I'm kind of have a little bit of free time or I'm watching TV and there's an ad up in between my shows, um, I'd like to kind of see what's selling on Mercari. If you scroll through Mercari, you will usually find a section that, sold, that says sold in the last 10 minutes. And then you can click, through, I think, see all, and you can see all the items that have been selling in the last 10 minutes or so. That means those items are selling now. Those are hot items. Those are items that people want. And this is a great way to educate yourself and know what's selling and um, kind of keep in the back of your head what to look for to sell in the future. So that's just a little tip from me. 
um, on kind of helping you expand your knowledge and know what to source to sell on Mercari. All right, so that's everything I know about selling on Mercari. Um, like I said, I've made about $2,000 on Mercari, a little bit more, 2,200 in the last year or so. I don't list everything on Mercari. I think I have maybe 50 items listed on Mercari at any given time. I, I don't know. I just, I don't list a lot on Mercari because I find sales aren't super fast in comparison to eBay. eBay, like I said, is our main source of income and so, and it's just, we just find that it's worth it for us to list everything on eBay. And like I said before, listing high volume of items on Mercari is just kind of hard to organize. But I do make $2,000, an extra $2,200 over a year is pretty good considering I said maybe an hour or two, some weeks on Mercari. So it really just depends. Sometimes I'll go a couple months without listing anything. Sometimes I'll spend an hour or two a week, um, but an extra 2,200 bucks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to share this video with a friend who might want to make a little bit of extra money on Mercari, you can go ahead and take a screenshot now and send it to them through a text. You can post it on Instagram, Facebook, wherever. I would really appreciate you sharing this video with anybody that you know that you might that might find it helpful. Um, also, go ahead and subscribe down below if you want to see more videos from me. And also let me know what you think. Are you going to start selling on Mercari? Have you tried selling on Mercari? What is your opinion on Mercari. Is there anything that I missed that I should have mentioned in this video? Let my viewers know down below with your tips as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.